All right, guys, check him out. Big old handsome meal for a not so handsome friend. Look at him. He is so cute. So it's up to you, Lily. I'm dropping this guy right now. Okay. Follow the goldfish in three, two, one, go. Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another adventure. And, well, they're not adventures, they're slave ventures. And if you didn't check out to the last video, we just watched Tyson crush a beautiful little prawn right there and it stood no chance against Tyson, obviously, and he's still gnawing that down. But guys, we still have to feed everybody in the house. But we're gonna focus on my favorite animal. You guys love it. It's a huge fan favorite, if I can speak. Huge fan favorite, guys, Godzilla. But first, we gotta file out some stuff. I have some frozen guys, that, that guy. These are frozen shrimp. And I have some tilapia. Now, believe it or not, these are not for me. These are actually for my fish. So I'm gonna thaw out some of this stuff. I'm gonna get that going right now. There you go. Now, I'm thawing out some food right now for my pets. Believe that there, that should be sufficient enough. But guys, I still picked up some of the craziest thing. I got this goldfish here for dinner. And then for an appetizer, I got more goldfish. So these guys will be doing something very special soon. And I still got some fish downstairs that I gotta show you guys. And also, I know you wanna see how Finn's doing. Cause unfortunately guys, Finn got harassed and attacked by Kitty, my huge tire shoving nose marble car hybrid. So we're gonna throw all this stuff away and I'll meet you downstairs. All right guys, so here we are downstairs and I have one of my favorite pets here again. I have a ninja. Ninja's my water cow, Gobi. He's just an amazing alien fish. Check this out from above. He is nuts. Look at him. He sees everything. We're gonna go ahead and feed him some of these goldfish as well. Then I have Mega Mind, my flower horn. You're doing good, buddy. Oh, look at you getting your colors back and doing well. And guys, another fan favorite now. I'm taking care of this beautiful fly river turtle, Finn. Now what happened to Finn is like I said, he got attacked by one of my big catfish and unfortunately was completely harassed. This back fin right here was completely gone. Gone. But now he's healing up. He's a little fungus and everything, but we're treating that with some Melifix and Pomifix. A lot of water changes and stuff. Um, I could take him out, isolate him into this little area, but this is gonna be the best option for him. It is, and he's doing great. As you can see, that fin is growing back from before. He's so personable, I love you. Thank you. I love Finn so much. Let's see if Finn will eat. Come, buddy, don't get spooked. Be free. Now, these are little carnivore pellets by your card. Sinking carnivore pellets. High in food proteins and fats, and they're good. We're gonna come around. Hopefully, we catch him in the act. What usually ends up happening is I drop him, and when I'm not recording, he eats, or when I leave, he eats. But with that nose, look at the little nose. Look at the nose. They're also known as pig nose turtles, and they're amazing. Look, look, he uses that nose. Oh, found it. Oh, look at him eat. Look at him. Oh, he's so funny. Look at that. Go ahead. Oh, oh, he's trying to eat it. Oh, he's eating right now. Look at that little horn. Finn. Look at that little tongue and everything. Dude, I love he's him. So cute. I love this little guy. Dude, we're going to have him feed a whole bunch of other stuff. Can't wait until he gets really comfortable with me where he can come up, swim to the top of the tank, and I can hand feed him. Look at him. He's so hungry. He is so hungry. And I feed him this much once a day, which is pretty impressive for this little guy. He's still a juvenile, but he's doing good. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Look at him go. Oh, dude, it's a vacuum. Look at that. He's moving everything to get all that food. He doesn't stop. Oh my God, what a cute little guy. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and Leaf in. I'm gonna drop that right here. But go to my flower one real quick. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? You're doing good? You doing good? No, we're not gonna, we're gonna pet you first. Look at that, petting him. What fish allows you to pet him like that? Rub that head. That head's called a cock. That's why we always make those weird perverted jokes. But uh, yeah, I like to feed him some grand sumo here. Nothing too crazy. A couple pellets. Hear that? Look at him eat. He's a freaking maniac. The reds, the blues, everything like that. Such a good fish. He gets fed once a day as well. So that's pretty good. But Ninja gets a variety. He too eats sinking carnivore pellets. Watch, I can show you right now. 
We're gonna go ahead and hand feed him. Look at him on the top right here. What a cool animal. Look at that. Here you go. Oh! Ooh. Gone. <laughs> Such a special little guy. Look at him crush it. He's so freaking cool. Look at those colors and everything. That is so epic. All right, cool. Um, I'm actually gonna also feed him some goldfish. Now I'm just gonna grab one right here. Hello. Check this out. We're gonna just toss him in, see what happens. Go, go, Ninja, go. Oh, go. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Oh. Splash. Oh, dude, that was so fast. Here you go, my friend. Are you ready? Here you go. From up top. Come on. Slurp. Oh, you got this. You got this. You missed again. One more time. One more time. Thank you. Good job. Was that cool? That was great. That was great. Focus camera. Thank you. All right, cool. I actually have a couple other pets to feed. Plus, I have this mega goldfish right here. Here you go. Let's go ahead and put this thing to use. So, Slayers. Now I can talk about my beautiful puffer fish. Now, I was actually misled. I was looking at this puffer fish, and if you look right above his head, he has a little arrow. Ah, he's following my hand. He is following your hand. I love him. But if you look right above, he has an arrow. So this is actually an arrowhead puffer fish. And what happened is that Farley ordered a Congo puffer fish and the seller was misleading and actually gave him an arrowhead, which I still love you the same, but I cannot give you the name Spud since he's not a potato puffer fish. So based on the arrow, reminds me of the last airbender from an old Nickelodeon show. So I shall name you Avatar. And he was the Avatar of the last airbender since he has an arrow, looks like Aang. I'll show you a photo right now. And as you can see, that's that's the closest resemblance. It's only appropriate I should name him Avatar. And I have Shrek over here, who is so hungry. You're looking a little thin, Chubbers. He's looking a little thin. So we're gonna actually feed Avatar right now some goldfish. That's right, we're about to watch why I love these pufferfish. It's gonna be wild. And on top of that, we're feeding Big Boy over here. This massive, I mean, Massive, look at the size of this. Massive goldfish. Epic. So, live feedings? What do you think, baby? They're the best. They're the best, 100%. So, live feedings only. Let's go ahead and do it right now. All right, guys. So, here we have a few feeder fish right here. They're actually in really good condition, nice and yummy. And we have our guy. Look at him. He is so cute. So, it's up to you, Lily. I'm dropping this guy right now. Okay. Follow the goldfish in three. Two, one, go. Follow him, follow the goldfish. Where's he going? Oh ah. my gosh, look at him. Oh, he got it. Look at him, chew it down. It's gone. Oh my god. That thing stood no chance. Bye. Bye bye, have a good time. <laughs> How morbid was that? I'd hate to be that old. Oh yeah. Ready? Go. Send it, follow it. Ooh, follow ooh, it, ooh, ooh, follow ooh, it. Ooh, oh, ooh. got him, chew it, chew it, chew it. Chew it. Dude, that was insane. Whoa. That is ridiculous. What I love about these puffers is that they bury themselves right here. They literally bury themselves and they cover themselves and all you can see are their eyes. They're ambush predators. And dude, you can tell how crazy it is. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. Oh, he's so chunky. He's so chunky. Oh, what a savage. Now I'm gonna have to do a water change because he literally poops like massive poops just like this guy. So now, he's ready. He's actually extending his stomach, getting ready. Look under his stomach. It's like he's working out doing crunches. Do you see that? Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Are you guys ready for one of the coolest eats you guys have ever seen? We're ready. Massive goldfish versus Shrek, the blob over catfish. Dude, it's very sweet. Here we go. All right, guys, check him out. Big old handsome meal for a not so handsome friend. Go forth. Take a weave. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And just like that, my friend, he is no more. This is why they're called gold brick catfish. You have to swallow him head first. Head first only. Head first only. Come on. Come on, dude. Do you see this? Brother, it's right there. Dude, you're, they're so blind too. It's crazy. They totally rely on those antennas right there. They're feelers. For, for vision and everything. Oh my God, that is ridiculous. Look at that mouth. 
Do you understand how big that goldfish was, right? Look at him. Slurps, 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 slurps. And that is it, guys. Just like that, Mr. Shrek is now an absolute blob. Look at that. That's wild. Look at that body now. He can't even, it's just unfathomable right there. Look at that. It wasn't alive. Shrek, you never disappoint. You are a monster. I can also hand feed him some shrimp and tilapia and everything like that. So we fed him a massive goldfish. We fed Avatar some goldfish. We fed Ninja some goldfish. You want some goldfish? I want a burrito. I got one for you.